All right. So I know we still have a couple people jumping on, um, but thank you guys so much for being here. I know we have some brand new coaches on the call tonight. So just wanted to extend them a big welcome. And we have coaches who have been with us for years that have been so consistent with showing up and supporting us um, on these Zooms. And I'm so super excited for tonight. I do have a couple announcements to get through before I toss things over to Sarah, who's going to talk about posting. So whether you are a coach who's been in this business for years or you are brand new, this is going to be a great topic because social media is always changing. And Sarah does an incredible job with connecting to her audience. Um, so I'm really excited to hear from her. But I have about six announcements really quick. First, obviously, hopefully you guys all know that Vegan Recover launched today. Um, it is available in the coach office. It's available to purchase. It is available as the performance stack, which is Energize and Recover. Um, it's available by itself as well. So right now it's only vegan chocolate and it is available in the US and Canada as of today. So I just ordered mine. I haven't had Recover in a couple weeks. And honestly, I can I am much more sore when I don't drink Recover. So I'm super pumped to get vegan chocolate. Um, I just I prefer the vegan supplements the way is perfectly fine. But that's just my preference. So I'm super pumped to try it. Okay, here's a big one, you guys. Um, especially if you're like a coach who's, you know, has coaches on your team, really make a note of this. We do like the five module training is how I get new coaches started. It's a self-paced training. I offer that to you guys to re to basically copy it and recreate it for yourself. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. We also had something that was launched about two months ago called five days to yay. It was essentially as our second phase of training uh, for a coach because that dives into doing their coming out post, writing their a hundred names, starting to invite the new coach training. The five modules is more of just getting them started. Um, so we'd had this five days to yay and it was great, but we found it was harder for coaches to stick through because probably because it's in a Facebook group and we all have a lot going on on Facebook. So what I did this weekend is I took those five posts and five days to yay and I put them all in Google form. So now what I'm doing with my new coaches is new coach modules one through five is what they do when they first sign up. Then we have a zoom and then I send them modules six through 10. So it's the same thing. It's self paced when they're done that I get the email, I send them the next one. So I took it all and just put it in Google form, just like it was with, with the new coach training. So essentially it's a 10 module training, but phase one and phase two. And I have a Zoom call with them in between the modules. And of course at the end as well, because we'll keep in touch. So that took a long time, but I'm really glad I did it because I think it's gonna be a lot more streamlined for new coaches. So please, it's in the Team Glow file section, phase one and phase two. Um, it's essentially just five days to yay in Google form. And we will be discontinuing that Facebook group just because I think it's hard to keep up with. So super pumped, would love to hear your feedback on that, but definitely take some time. For you recreating it, it won't take long. It's not as long as the first five modules, it's a lot shorter. So you can recreate that in probably an hour. It's, I mean, I think, I don't think it's gonna take you that long to recreate it. Um, Okay, just a couple things that I've noticed with using our SC tracker. Remember, you guys follow the stories section of the SC tracker. That tells you what to post in your stories. Of course, you can do more things, but stick to doing those six things every day. Um, I think it's six. But one thing is workout clips. So not just a sweaty selfie, but take a couple clips of what you did. Sarah is amazing at this. She does this like a whole on a whole nother level. But I do like little five second um, snippets of my workout after I'm done my workout. Don't try to like multitask. Do your workout. But then for what I do is I do like little second couple second clips i narrow it down in my phone and i post it to my stories um that's to create curiosity of like you're doing what you say you're doing um in your stories and showing up every day and recognition you guys that's huge and that's an amazing opportunity to show other people's stories everyone on this call has a success story that they can share so we've done it in team glow before but if you want some before and afters post in that team page or you know obviously if you have coaches and challengers recognize them because you're, and you're hitting success club. You're bringing on new coaches and challengers, recognize them, recognize them for joining, recognize them for working out with you at 6am, recognize them for anything. And then as you grow your team, you'll start to have more business recognition, which is exciting too. So if you, I really don't miss this, do it in your stories. I also do one time a week on Facebook in an actual post and it's helped a lot. Um, and also recognize yourself. So most of the time if you're like, I don't know who to recognize it's you. So you get to shout out yourself. Every, in you, if you look in your Instagram grid, one of every like nine photos should be a transformation of you because that's what really draws people forward. Okay. Um, obviously SD tracker and hundred invites has been huge for us. I'm so excited as a team for us moving through that. Our morning, I'm going to do something. I just spoke to Christy this morning and I'm excited to offer um, a morning power hour. I know that some people work and it's not going to work for you, but every morning this coming week, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be on zoom from eight to 9am. 
So I'm going to drop a link. And if you, if you can work and you want to join me, it's not a training. We're going to mute ourselves and we're just going to do our business work from eight to 9 AM. Okay. Um, obviously if there's more than two people, we're going to get kicked off at 40 minutes and that's okay too. But I want to bring consistency into showing you guys, like I'm working. That's the, my first hour of the day that I'm really doing work. And if you need accountability to work and that time fits for you too, to come on, then join me. So I'm going to test it out. I'm going to be there every morning this week from eight to 9 AM. Um, Two more things I'm tossing it to Sarah. Always super important. Always check in with your coaches and your challengers consistently. Like even if they ghost you, they are a coach or they are a challenger. They should be on your follow-up list like every other day because your job is to get them consistent. If they haven't canceled, if they haven't quit, that they need your help. So they need to get into our fit club. They need to get active. They need to, even if they're a coach who's not building their business, your job is to make sure that they are loving the products and programs and they are seeing results and they are following a schedule from start to finish. Okay. That's huge because we can't just wing our workouts. We have to be following a schedule. If you don't know what to recommend when they first get started in the coach office under grow my business, there is, um, no, I forgot where it was, but it's, it's, there's a place in grow my business where you can actually go through and look at all of the workout programs and have a couple minute snippets of each one. So you can learn more about the programs. That's also what we're here for as your coach and your team. You can come to us and say, Hey, I have a challenger who X, Y, and Z, what do you recommend? Because we've been in this business forever. We've done pretty much all the programs and that's what we're here for. But please don't let your challengers or coaches just, th just fall by the wayside because they didn't jump right in. I have been really amping up keeping in touch with my new challengers from the beginning. And they're so much more consistent because I'm just, I'm every day. I'm like, okay, did you work out? You're doing country heat. Great. How was day two? How was day three? Um, that is your job as a coach. So, okay. It's grow my business product tools and shareable media. That's how you can get a snippet of all the other programs. And I think that's it. We have a coach sneak peek that I've recreated. My success partner was grateful enough to graceful enough to share me um, they did a sneak peek last week. So she shared with me her posts. I've tweaked it. It's a three day sneak peek starting on Wednesday to Friday, um, in the same group that we did the fit club sneak peek. So this is a great call night for a call to action about being a coach, what it's done for you, what it's going to do for you. Um, and giving people that link, especially all current challengers, you guys, that's huge to teach them about coaching. So it'll be Mon Wednesday through Friday. And all I ask is that please join the group and comment every time you see a post go up. It's only two posts a day. The more we can get people commenting, the more that people will see that. So this is a great opportunity to go back to all those people that you had talked about this opportunity with, um, or current challengers. So they, the, those people that are rocking it, like they make the best coaches because their belief is there. Okay. Sarah, I'm done talking. So I'm going to introduce Sarah to speak to us. I'm so excited. Um, Sarah has been my coach since on our team since 2014. She and I met, we always go back and forth. I think at the YMCA back in 2008, <laughs> uh, here in Lancaster, but she's amazing. Like when she joined this business, she honestly like, yes, I sponsored her, but Sarah's very much like a go-getter. She's like, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to do this. I gave her trainings. She's like, all right, that sounds good. I was also not the best leader back in 2014. Um, but she has built an incredible team. Team Sweat is a three-star diamond team. They are so great. And I've been so gracious to, it's been amazing to have her on our team these last five years. That's so crazy. She's a full-time coach. She has an amazing husband. They now have a dog and a cat. Um, she's a fitness instructor. She's in the Insanity Max 30 workout program. So she's kind of got celeb status. Um, and she's just an amazing person. So I'm super excited. I asked her to speak tonight about posting because she, again, she connects with her audience so well. And you guys, that's how she just gives and gives and gives. And that's how she's able to build such trust and consistency. And she's got like 14,000 followers on Instagram, like girl knows what she's doing. So Sarah, Sarah. Thank you and take it away. All right. Oh, thank you so much, Ashley. And no, you were seriously, I loved growing with you because that, that's the thing. Like in this business, I feel like whenever you start, like that's exactly how we all feel. <laughs> it's like, okay, what do I do? There's all the things and yeah, it's a lot to take in. But if I can say anything, it's spend less time uh, learning and more time doing. Um, I once heard that, um, I forget what training it was, but they said beach body coaches are the most overtrained type entrepreneurs. <laughs> and I don't know, I raise your hand, you guys. Like I feel that way because how many videos or do we think we need to learn something else before we take action on what you really need to be doing? And what do we really need to be doing is showing up, inviting other people on this journey. And if that's, if you're like getting to the fluff later on, 
or if you're getting to the fluff first, then it's not going to push your business forward. So I love that Ashley mentioned that she's going to be, you know, doing those zooms from eight to nine because yeah, eat that frog, you guys like get it out of the way, do the things that make you feel uncomfortable faster and quicker because you're going to see that success that much faster. Um, so yeah, the topic is, you know, finding what to post and what your brand is all about. Um, and so I would love to hear from you guys. I know in the chat, I think you can, uh, leave the chat open. And so we can kind of get a conversation going. Um, but yeah, just finding out who you guys are and like what it is that your brand is. So you might've heard of like, you know, building your brand and what is, what is involved in that. So yes, I'm now a fur mama. I feel so bad. I've had a cat for like 11 years, <laughs> but I don't feel like I've been a fur mom until I got this dog. Where he's, he's so cute. Okay. He's not up here, but anyway, so yeah, I'm a fur mama. Oh, look at the doggy. Christy. So cute. <laughs> Mine's a chihuahua mix. I don't know, he kind of looks like a 12, like almost. Um, but yeah, anyway, write in the comments, you guys, like what would be your top five to 10 things? I'm just going to talk about mine and maybe it'll spur something on. Um, yeah, Spur Mama, married, and I love teaching Zumba still to this day. I've been teaching Zumba for almost 11 years now. So, you know, think about the things that you are even before Beachbody and some of the things that you like to do right now. Like, are you into hiking? Are you into, um, I'm keeping an eye on the chat. Can you guys see the chat at the bottom? <laughs> I want to know because that'll give me some ideas too. Um, you can write like what your brand is. Oh, good job, Ashley. She's a doer. Who else is a doer? Come on, put yourself out there. I want to hear from you guys so that we can kind of, you know, talk and relate and maybe spur ideas with each other because, you know, my story might be totally different from your guys's, but you might find somebody in here that has a very similar story. So Ashley put mom, wife, yoga, bad cook. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, same. But Eddie is an amazing cook and he does all the cooking and I'm a big HelloFresh fan. We had HelloFresh tonight. Um, that's another way I've been able to find people through HelloFresh, through Zumba, through uh, dog mamas hashtags. Um, I love personal development. And if you're a coach, that should be your number one thing. Mexican food is life. Amen. I had to tostadas. Coley. Oh, good job, you guys. We got Christy. She's a newlywed co-parent runner, nutrition, PD. Oh, good. I was hoping somebody would mention PD, personal development. We've got some runners, some yogas, military, writing, reading, tennis lover. Awesome. So it sounds like you guys are familiar like with what your likes are. Um, even think about, you know, some of the, some of the things that you might be like, well, nobody really cares about this part. And so maybe you're not necessarily talking about the small things, but even the smaller things really will connect with other people. So, you know, even talking about like some of your struggles, some of like, whether it's a food addiction or maybe you've struggled with relationships or you've struggled in the past with, you know, any type of, I don't know, just, just anything that, that is also a part of your brand. So being okay and kind of owning that. Cause I mean, I've talked about like my struggles with eating. Cause I always thought like, Oh, I want to lose weight. I'll just starve myself. So I've been like binge eater for more than a decade. And it wasn't until coaching that really did help me get out of that. So that's part of my story also depression, anxiety. Yeah. So no, that's good to like be able to um, pull those things out of us because that's, what's really going to help you know, when somebody sees that struggle, like you, I start to realize that our struggles are actually really our strengths in disguise. So talking about that on your social media regularly actually does give it less power over yourself because you're able to confront it. So every time you bring up those things that you're just like, well, that's embarrassing. I don't really want to talk about that. You know, look at it like 10 levels, you know, what we do and you might see people post and all they're doing is call to actions or they're talking about products, you know, not just, I'm not just talking beach body, but just think of the entrepreneur that's out there that that person is probably at level one. Like they're really just sharing just about what they're trying to sell. But as coaches, like we want to get to that level six, seven, eight, nine level, which means like we're really sharing our heart. We're sharing what our likes are. We're sharing what our dislikes are. You know, you don't necessarily have to be like, Oh, I hate this. You know what I mean? But, but it's okay to talk about the things that, you know, like, well, this frustrated me, but here's the other side of it, you know, always kind of looking at the bigger picture. Um, so with all of those things that you guys listed, you can have it, I don't know if this would help, but I did one as far as coaching went and I kind of made this like bubble thing and I actually keep it up on my desk. And so with you guys, it's kind of the same thing. Like all those things that represent you, you can actually have like, put that as like these bubbles, like on a notepad just to kind of brainstorm because you're going to, you're going to realize like you have so much more to talk about than you realize because you're like, you know, when you're out about to post, you're like, well, I can, I guess I can just post another sweaty selfie. <laughs> and then you're like, Oh, that's, that's every day, I guess, you know, and we got to think outside that bubble. 
So the best way to do it is to maybe, you know, pick those five to 10 things, draw a big circle around it, and then put like dashes outside of it. So if you're talking about like your family life, you know, could you do like a throwback Thursday of an old photo picture and how those feelings, like maybe it was a trip that you guys went on, or it could talk about your family and how grateful you are, or it could talk about a certain, you know, the characteristics or the personalities of your kids or, you know, or of your pets and just like talking about different things within those bubbles. So it's just gonna give you a lot more ideas to kind of go off of. Um, and even like favorite movies, favorite TV shows, you know, things that you really like, you know, clothing, brands of clothing, um, and even asking questions. That's a great way to also build engagement. So say you're gonna go shopping or, you know, you're like, okay, which, which do you guys prefer? You know, like Nikes or Adidas, you know, asking engagement photo, things for, you know, comparison, like voting A or B, or, you know, going to a wedding, what do you guys prefer, you know, this dress or this dress, or, you know, it can be all kinds of things, not just like, not just clothing related, but food related too, or exercise, like, where's my yogis at? I've been digging yoga lately, but I'm thinking about getting back into strength training, you know, just curious, what are you guys into? And that could be like a fitness engagement photo. Um, so, you know, there's definitely a lot of different ideas that you can put out there. Um, I know for me, my very first book, was jab, 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 right hook. And that really did help me to kind of understand, okay, I wanna give value, I wanna connect, I wanna give value, I wanna connect, and then I wanna do a hook. That right hook is that call to action. Um, and that really did help me to understand, like, I don't wanna feel spammy on social media. Um, you know, and that, that's, you know, one of the reasons I was like, well, I don't wanna be a coach because all the coaches I know are just spamming and da 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 da, you know, and so I was really, you know, reserved. And I feel like that's how a lot of people are because they'll join a company and then that's all they talk about. And it's super annoying. So if you're kind of like, yeah, I totally get that. Then you don't have to be that way. You could take it and just really, you know, brand yourself because Beachbody is the vehicle we use, but it's not who you are. Because if you think about it, you can build this business and have multiple streams of income and multiple ways that you're connecting with other people. Um, you know, it's the same thing with like somebody mentioned personal development. And, you know, that'll give you another idea to post, but think about it. Like if you're using Amazon, you can actually use their Amazon affiliate links and then you could do the audible link. Like I send an out an email and I'm like, here's the link to the book, you know, and you're, if you're an affiliate, then you can get, actually get an income from that. But anyway, that's kind of besides the point, but that's a way to, you know, be posting, building who you are, your brand, your likes, and just showing up on a regular basis. Um, and it's something that, if you don't see a lot of interaction within the first couple weeks, don't give up. Like I know when I started my YouTube, YouTube channel, it was like 11 years ago when I became a coach or no, I'm sorry, when I became a Zumba instructor. And it was because I was like so inspired by the people who were, you know, posting videos and posting these fitness things and choreography and dance and stuff. And I was like, okay, like I really want to do that. And so I started doing that. And what's bad about YouTube is there's a thumbs down button. <laughs> and I had more thumbs downs than I did thumbs up. And, you know, in the beginning, it's like, oh my gosh, like, why am I even doing this? So you have all these like hesitations, like people are judging me. I'm not getting enough likes. Let me compare myself to somebody else. Like you fall into this trap of like thinking you're not good enough. So as soon as that happens, dive back into personal development and then, you know, start posting what you would want to see on social media. And of course you guys can get ideas from other coaches, you know, but leave that for like, you know, one day every other week, if you feel like you've hit a rut look up a couple coaches, screenshot some of their posts and be like, Ooh, that's a great post. I can redo that one. Like, yeah, she's holding a couple of vegetables and smiling all cutesy. Yeah. Okay. I'll totally do that. I'm going to feel stupid and vain, but why not? <laughs> and it's true. Like if you feel stupid and vain, that's okay. Me too. Still five years later, I'm like, Oh my gosh, like how, how many selfies do you really have to take before you finally get the, the right one? Right. I mean, there's a lot, but that's okay. Like it's not going to be professional. And every now and then people don't want to see that perfect photo. They want to see real life. They want to see dirty laundry. They want to see things that they can relate to, too. So, so just kind of giving you guys some ideas. I think that can kind of help you, you know, streamline like, okay, this is what I'm doing. You know, I'm going to talk about coaching and my virtual fit clubs, you know, here and there. But if I just want to throw up a post about how much I love, you know, Mexican food, <laughs> like I'm going to do that. And it's hilarious. The numbers of likes that where I'm talking about just like hello fresh and like, Oh, we're having risotto tonight. I'm so excited. This is why we don't leave the house compared to like something that I spent like 45 minutes thinking about and like tears and like I read this book and it was so amazing. And it's like, really three people. 
<laughs> so, so don't get so caught up in the numbers of likes and the number of interactions. It's, it's you showing up, sharing your heart, sharing your journey and being okay with whether or not you get likes or not. And if you don't, like, I don't know if you guys would do this on your team, but tag multiple coaches. Like we are here as a team to help support one another. So I tell my team all the time, I was like, tag me in every single post because then it will show up on my wall and then I'll be reminded to go like and comment on it. And so we do that with basically any, any posts that were just like, you know what, I want more interaction. I'm going to tag all my teammates. And you know, that's a great way to kind of also build that camaraderie. Like we're in this together, let's support one another. And when more people start seeing more people commenting on your posts, that also helps build that affinity. And it builds that interest. Like, okay, like this person's commenting on wanting to join her group. Maybe I should too. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's just a few ideas. Um, I know I'm kind of like all over out there, but is there any questions that you guys might have? Like as far as posting goes or apps or I didn't know if there was anything that you guys needed a specific. Sarah, my question is, do you follow any sort of, um, cause I know, especially for new coaches, it's like, well, what, what do I post and when do you follow any sort of pattern? Like, okay, if I'm going to do a call to action, it's going to be on Sunday and the rest of like, do you have any sort of pattern in mind as you're going into each week? I was going to say with the challenge or with our tracker, it is nice being able to follow that and like cross it off. Like, okay, this is what I need to be doing. And if I haven't done enough, um, I do have like, okay, Tuesdays, I try to get that recognition post out there. If I don't, I'll call it Wednesday, women crush Wednesday. And I'll shout out somebody. Um, yeah, usually, usually from Beachbody on demand, like I'll just go in there and be like, check out my girl, Carly. I don't know her, but you don't know that. <laughs> and I'll go in and tell about, talk about her story and, and it's been cool though, because sometimes I've actually found them on Facebook or Instagram and like, you know, friended them. And I'm like, I mean, they say not to friend a lot of coaches, but I mean, if you think about it, if you're going to do that every other week on Beachbody On Demand, you could totally friend 25 coaches who have amazing stories. Like, yeah. Um, so I would say, you know, just making sure that you are tying in the business. Yeah. I have at least one recognition post on Tuesday, like a physical one, Tuesdays or Wednesdays. And then Fridays, which sometimes gets pushed to the weekends. I try to do like maybe fangirl Friday or um, just something where I'm kind of putting out that recognition or shouting out people um, Saturday. I haven't done this in a couple of weeks, but on Saturday I tried to do, um, what is it? On Insta stories where you can like scroll through your virtual fit club and then shout out people that are popping up on there. And then you can put like some fun music behind it and just like show kind of how that sneak peek is, but you're also giving them recognition and giving people a sneak peek of what it is you offer. So yeah, I think it's basically, um, even on my Instagram, I kind of follow a routine. So I know what my next thing will be. It's usually in between a video, a picture, and maybe a quote. And so I'll have like three in a row like that and a picture video, and then maybe a food pick picture, video, quote, picture, video, you know, quote or food pick, and it keeps going back and forth. So that does keep me giving me some ideas. So that might help some of you guys too. Like, what would you want your Instagram to look like? Because it should look like a magazine, something that's like easy to look through. You, somebody will see like at least one recognition post within the first nine to 12 posts. Um, they're going to see a workout video. Um, cause it, you know, being proof that this works, I think you should really, um, latch on to one of two things. You should either really dive into sharing about nutrition and just giving recipes, giving value, like giving that, or the other side of it is fitness. And that's just what I was doing before I became a coach. So I was like, you know what, I'm just, that's going to be my free value. If you want a meal plan for me, no way you got to buy it. <laughs> so, so that's the thing. Like, what do you, what do you feel a little bit more com com or confident in and more comfortable sharing? pick one of those options. Um, and then personal development, I think we should, all should be sharing our heart and how that's relating to personal development and, um, you know, picking a book and maybe that could be a call to action, inviting people to join you and you're reading a new book every single month. Um, I just started that in my, in my support group. And so we're, some of us are committing to the new Mel Robbins book so that every month it's a new book and it, I'm getting more challengers doing it than that were before because it's, it's kind of nice because you need their mindset to change. So that kind of gives me some ideas. Like I said, the quote will tie into my personal development and sometimes my sweaty selfie will be a call to action, but sometimes it'll be more of a personal development type post. So yeah, I hope that kind of makes sense. Yeah. And I love that you said, cause I really haven't 
we, my team hasn't talked about this a lot too, but you can totally take the amazing before and afters that you see on Beach, Beach Body On Demand and our websites and use them as recognition posts. Like even if it's not someone you know personally, like they're on the public website, they got the results from the Beach Body program, shout them out because you never know, like even if someone can't quite relate to my story, they might see who I'm recognizing and be like, oh my gosh, like I can relate to her. And then they like that post. And that's my invitation to be like, Hey, thanks for supporting us. Like you should do this. I think sometimes we overcomplicate, we definitely overcomplicate inviting and we can so overcomplicate posting. I think stories, people feel a little more free because it's like, just put it up there. We know what we're going to do, get them up, get them, you know, engaged. But posting is like, it seems like this big mountain. And like you said, it's really not anything more than your health journey and your, your mindset journey. And that's just, showing up on social media every day in some form of that journey. Um, what I like to tell my team too, is like you said, like we should look pretty on Instagram. It should look like a brand. It should look like if you're following a bunch of accounts and they click on your name to see if they want to follow you back within five seconds, they're going to decide if they want to follow you back based on your pictures. So to take into account, like Sarah was saying, um, maybe a pattern to make it easier. Obviously like your background, you want natural light, you want bright colors. Um, maybe take a Saturday and go take a bunch of pictures, have your friend take pictures of you in your house or outside or whatever. Um, but something else, I don't know if you do this there. I haven't actually done this. I, I should, but is doing a brain dump, you know, taking your note section of your phone and saying like, what am I feeling right now? Um, what have I learned in my personal development, which is obviously so huge. You guys, if you're like feeling negative, make sure you do not miss a day of personal development, even if you're feeling positive. Because the minute that slides for me, I start to get down on myself. So it is so connected to our business. Um, and I don't, like Sarah said, they don't have to be like all these long, long stories. Maybe you just throw a picture of you and your Mexican food because you'd love it. So like that's the balance between relating to people on just sort of a social level and then getting people to think. Um, and it's normal that a lot of your call to actions will have less likes and less comments because it's way easier to like a taco pic than it is to be like, do I want to change my life? That doesn't mean they're not watching you. Um, Sarah, I love that. Okay. Does anyone have any questions that they want to ask Sarah about posting or anything she talked about? And Sarah, as if anyone's typing, you guys can type in the chat box if you have questions, but is there anything else that you wanted to say on that topic? Um, I think you had mentioned it before. Um, using stories as like, you know, your videos of show, showing like proof that this works, you know, like just remember those four vitals that you can always come back to, I need an idea. Okay. What are the four vitals? You know, being proof that this works. What did I learn from my personal development? You know, how can I invite to this or maybe talking about how thankful you are that, you know, Ashley invited you to this, like kind of talking to, in that way or recognizing yourself, like she said, or recognizing a fellow challenge or coach or fellow challenger or somebody from Beachbody on demand that gives you four ideas just right there but always coming back to like something that inspires you or even funny memes like i noticed like pages or actually when i share it from another like page to my like page like if it's funny like it's been shared more times and it gets more interaction so maybe try doing that again reposting that's okay like it, it kind of shows that oh you really like this you know this show too like that's funny like oh i totally relate to that um yeah i think that does help and i just saw coley how do you show a screenshot video on your phone to IG stories, like scrolling Fit Club. Um, so I, I hold my phone and then I scroll. <laughs> like I hold my phone and I'm on my computer and just sharing it. I, I believe if you have an iPhone, um, which I don't, I know, I like my Galaxy. Um, I heard that there's like an app where you can actually, like it's an iPhone app maybe, and it, you can actually be scrolling and it video, it tapes your scroll. Have you guys ever heard of that? I thought it was, I think Samantha was telling me about that, but that could be a way that if you're directly in the app and then you hit record screen or something that you're able to do that, maybe that's an idea. But for me, I just hold my phone and I open up the challenge tracker app and then I just scroll through it or I'll do a boomerang or, you know, I'll, if I'm sending out emails, I'll be like, you know, virtual fit club emails have been sent. If you still want to get in on this, you know, do you, do you want me to send you info? Like use the polls, you know, really utilizing those things I think can help. Um, yeah. I hope that helped answer that. Yeah. Sometimes it's simpler than you realize. It's just doing it. That's, that's honestly the biggest thing. Like, you know, all the uh, work works, but you just got to do it. I love it. And I think also, um, you, you've hit success. But obviously you and I, we, we haven't missed a day of a month of success club since 2014. And I always tell my team, it's not by an accident. I'm not some like you have way more followers than I do. And like, it's not about, um, it's not about 
quantity. It's about quality. And it's about you showing up and doing the work every single day. Like to me, I will help five people minimum every month and it's a non-negotiable. So for you, what does that look like in terms of how many people are you inviting every day? Do you find that most people that do end up joining you this month, were they people that you had followed up with? Because I know we have a lot of new coaches on the call and they might, um, it's a lot of work in the beginning, right? Like you're putting all this work and you're like, oh, but I thought people would come flooding to me but you find your, your momentum and it's doing the work every single day. So I'm kind of yeah, rambling yeah. on that, but how do you hit success club every single month? Yeah. Um, I think some, some of the things which I would call this fluff, but I feel like it's probably the biggest like way of having conversations is making sure. And I know you've done this for probably, probably more time than I have. I've probably only utilized the Google forms for like a year. And I'm like, why did I not do this? Like all the time. So like what I'll do is I'll form, you know, conversation with somebody and then, like if they like on a call to action or they're liking, you know, on a, or they voted on a poll, like an easy poll is like, do you struggle with fitness or nutrition? You know, what, what's more, you know, or maybe both like another thing where they can the measure thing. Like if anybody votes, that's basically you being able to send them an invite. And I just, you know, have the same script where I'm like, Hey, I saw you voted on my poll. Listen, I hear you. I used to struggle with that too. What's helped me is following the plan. If you're interested, I have another virtual fit club coming up. I'd love to talk to you about your goals if you're interested. And then I attach the Google form right in there and then get the conversation moved over to email right away. And I feel like that has taken out so much of the guesswork instead of going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because this business can be tedious because we're sending so many messages. So yeah, my one tip is like utilize using that Google form, put it in your call to actions like Ashley does, put it as a link tree in your um, Instagram, you know, or maybe you could just put that link in your Instagram and just say, fill out the link in my bio. Um, and then that way they're able to go straight there. Um, but yeah, utilizing that and making sure that you're saving all those emails and then using it to like give value. You know, once you have all, all these emails, I use, um, what is it called? Constant contact. I know there's also MailChimp, which is free. That's an email service that you can just then provide value. Like if you want to give nutrition tips, do like a food Friday and be like, here, here's a quick uh, recipe that I did. And I want to share it with you. You know, you're able to build that, that connection and then do a call to action, you know, once a month where you're inviting them to the next thing, even though maybe you already got their email because they filled out the Google form and maybe just that reminder, like, Hey, five spots left in the next virtual fit club. Um, and just making sure that you're following up. Like I heard something like 80% of sales happen on the eighth to 12th conversation. And how many of us are not having eight to 12 conversations? like a lot of us, because we'll leave a, we'll do an invite and then we ghost, we ghost them. Like it's up to us to do a follow-up, not them to reply to us. Like we're the business owner. They're the, you know, they're the possible client. We have to meet their needs, not, Hey, you need to come to me. You know, we need to actually be the ones to go to them. Oh, Daniel put something. Do you have an iPhone? Go to your home screen. Oh. Do the scrolling thing, I think. Yeah. Everybody read Danielle's comment. If you have an iPhone, because I do not, <laughs> it'll eventually be an app. I'm sure. Um, no, I love that too. And I, you know, especially not for coaches to feel like they have to do hundreds of things, but I think it's making the systems more, um, more effective for you. Like a lot of times people aren't going to join the first time that you invite them or follow up, but if you get their email, like I move it to email right away. I love that you put the Google doc right in the, the message, but as soon as I'm asking their goals, I'm moving it to email or lately I've been being like, Hey, let's talk on the phone. Can I call you? And that's just my, like, I like to connect with people that way. Um, but getting their information is such a great way to provide value later on. So like a follow-up is never lost on someone because you might give value in a newsletter. Maybe that's something you want to do and incorporate, um, adding value that way. But once someone's like, well, how long, how often do you keep following up with someone? I'm like, I follow up with people forever until they tell me like not until they tell me no or don't message me again which very rarely happened but they're or in they my block. tracker what'd you say or they block you <laughs> I'm friend and I've been blocked it's part of the business no big deal um I know we're getting some messages here but okay we've got five minutes so let's okay I would oh yeah. Christy Christy don't worry about Christy literally signed up this morning don't oh. don't worry about it <laughs> Christy is one, yeah. yeah last night sorry last night she's one day in as a coach girl you're good we'll go over that in the new coach training yeah. um do you send out emails to prospects whose email you have from conversations? Um, I try to do it like once every other week. So that's only like twice a month. I should probably do it more often though, <laughs> in all honesty. Um, I was going to say, Ashley does a great job at it. Cause I think you're doing it like weekly, aren't you? You send out an email. Yeah. I send out a newsletter every Tuesday. Um, yeah. And I, I love, I do like doing that because again, most people that give me their emails, 
they haven't signed up, but I know that they're getting something from me every week. And I do tend to put a call to action at the bottom of an email, maybe not every single email that I send out weekly, but a lot of them are going to be like, Hey, by the way, this mm-hmm. is how you can get more information. So, yeah. And I've definitely saved some of those call to actions that Ashley's done. Cause I'm like, Ooh, that is a good one. Copy, paste, save it, rewrite it as my own because in case we have the same person, <laughs> you know, or same with the same friends. Um, but yeah, that's a great, great way to really connect with people. And it's just, staying consistent and be having a schedule. Like I know you kind of said, like, what is your schedule? It's a little sporadic, but I do have my checklist and I just make sure that I get the most important things done first. Like sometimes I'll have to make an event, but if that's every two weeks, you know, like I always make a Facebook event and then, you know, I might boost a post on Instagram another time. Um, but just making sure that those four vital behaviors are met first. And then I'm like, okay, I got time for fluff. Let me learn more about Instagram and maybe I'll Google like how to create this. And you know, a lot of times there's new things out there all the time. Things are always changing. So sometimes I'm like, Hey, don't leave it up to me because guess what? Like social media is changing by the minute. So the best thing you can do is actually go educate yourself, find out what it is, and then share it with your peers because that's what a leader does. A leader doesn't wait for things to fall into their lap where they're like, oh, I got to learn this now. No, like if you want to make six figures and be successful and help a lot of people, like you'll take action right away instead of waiting, waiting until something happens for you. So anyway, yeah, tough, tough, tough love. love. Like, no, it's doing the stuff. Like, this is why, this is what I do in my business every day. This is the success club tracker. You guys know I'm married to this. Brian's okay with it. But it's because I've seen such a difference in my business with having that accountability of like, you are going to invite 20 people a day. You are going to do all these stories. You are going to show up. Sometimes I take Saturdays off because I work my butt off the other six days a week. But it's just doing the work. Like, don't, I, I love the quote, don't be upset about the results you didn't get for the work you didn't do. Like, all this stuff about all the fluff Sarah's talking about, you can learn it and you can have that time in your business, but not until your vitals are done. Your vitals are posting, inviting, following up, personal development, your workout, your nutrition. Um, and that's what this business is about. So we have two minutes left. I want to get a picture before we are kicked off. But uh, if anyone has any other questions, type them in the chat box now. I want to take a, a boomerang. So let me pull up Instagram. Um, why don't we do a fist bump boomerang? Cause that is fun. So we're going to count to three. This is just practice. And we're going to go like that and pull it back in. Okay. All right. One, hang on. Okay. One, two, three. We're, we're all so off, but I love it. Okay. I'm going to save that and I'll post it in the team page. Um, okay. I want to, so I'm going to stop the recording here cause we are having less than a minute.